everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another Crown Zenith opening. We found some more Reggie Alecki boxes, so we're just gonna keep going with it. Whatever we find and whatever we grab, I'm just gonna make a video on. So we got two Reggie Alecki boxes and a little thing to warm us up. I found a Pokeball, which I always keep an eye out whenever I see these. Always check the date. See how it says copyright 2020? That means most likely that it was packaged in 2020. So the oldest packs in here should be 2020, which means that like, or the newest packs, which means that it would probably be something like Vivid Voltage, Rebel Clash, Darkness Ablaze, or we've gotten a lot of Cosmic Eclipse out of these. We've gotten uh, one XY Fates Collide out of these. So you just never know. So I figured we'd warm up with a great ball. And then we can move into our Reggie Alecki boxes. Let's see what we're gonna get. Can we get lucky? Looking for those uh, Cosmic Eclipse packs. Oh, all right, we got a repack. That's not good. We don't like those. All right, this is like, honestly, I think one of the first times this has ever happened. So we got an EV coin, which kind of sucks because it is a 2020 10 or 2020, yeah, 2020 10. So none of these should be in there. And usually when I do this, it does work out the way of, you know, copyright 2020 usually means the oldest pack in there is 2020. But as you can see, this is 2021. This is 2021 Evolving Skies. And then Brilliant Stars is like a pretty recent pack. It's only like four sets, five sets old now. So we got two 2021 packs and a 2022 pack. I guess we just go in order maybe. So I think Evolving Skies comes first, that being said, which I'm cool with because let's get that out of the way, shall we? Never... I don't know, I don't enjoy Evolving Skies. I know some people will, will die for it, but I don't really like it. It's a new code card as well, so that's, you know, already a point in the negative column. No trainer gallery, just all or nothing on this set. Lucky Ice Pop, Crystal Cave, Palpitoad, Scraggly, Drowsy, Marie, Dweeble, Carvana, Ursaring, Reverse, and a Talon Flame non hollow in the rare. So first pack down with a miss. Next up, let's go with Fusion Strike. Would love to get that Genesect alt art. We've had a lot of really good luck with Fusion Strike. We have like seven or eight alt arts out of the set. We still don't even have a Gengar VMAX though. Um, we need the Gengar alt art. Um, I would love to get the Mew alt art, VMAX alt art. We have the V. I would love to get the Genesect V alt art. Let's see what we can do. We got a Heatmore, Cook, Morgion, Stuffle, Cyglyph, Toxel, Totodile, Bunnery, Creepy Dreepy, and a Grand Bull non hollow in the rare. So, 0 for 2 on this first great ball. And Brilliant Stars. One of our favorite sets by far. Probably our favorite set all the way up until Crown Zenith came out. As far as Sword and Shield goes. Probably our favorite set all the way up until Crown Zenith. Let's see, can we get up some last pack magic? Four to the front. And here we go. Can we get an altar? Can we get that Charizard of the Arceus altar? That would be crazy. We got a Torquoil. We have a Trap Inch, a Piplup, a Shroomish, Purloin, Duskull, Ooh, a Zekrom in the trainer gallery into a double bang. Oh, we got the Arceus alt art on a warm up pack. Alicia, it's a $50 card. Are you kidding me? I have been chasing this forever. Little off center, but nice on a warm up pack and a great ball tin. It's definitely off center, but there's no nicks or anything in it. 
Wow, and a great ball 10 on a warm-up pack. Are you kidding me? Zekrom into an Arceus. What a beautiful card. What a beautiful card. When I was saying that hopefully we can get that Arceus, and I called it. I literally said, did you hear me say that? I literally said, can we get an Arceus or a Charizard alt art? I was like, I've said that a million times. I never would have ever expected that to actually happen. Zekrom, this is like our third Zekrom, but it's a pretty cool card, especially for a yellow border trainer gallery. And finally, we get to add to the set the Arceus V beautiful alt art from Brilliant Stars. Now we just need the Charizard. I imagine the Charizard is significantly harder to pull because it's like a $200 card. But Arceus V, we finally got the Arceus V alt art. That is amazing. I think this is actually only the second alt art that we've ever gotten to pull out of Brilliant Stars. Arceus has been crazy for us. We just pulled two Arceus gold Arceus V stars out of uh, Crown Zenith. Now we get this. Like, we've had crazy luck lately with Arceus. That's so funny. Like, the last three major hits that we've gotten have all been Arceus cards. But... What a way to start the video. Like I said, on a warm-up pack out of a great ball 10. Can't get any better than that. All right, let's put these on the side. And now we can move into our main event. Oh. Crown Zenith, a very fun set to open up. About as good as it's ever been, I think. This has got, I, I don't think they've ever made a set as good as Crown Zenith is. We've never seen hits like this. I mean, it's just, you know, you can't beat it. Like the fact that we have two boxes and I'm expecting a silver bordered altered style V-Star card probably, or V-Max at least, or even a V from the uh, Galarian Gallery. The fact that I'm expecting that out of eight packs is like, should tell you everything that you need to know really. Unfortunately, Pokedata.io at the time of recording this has still not updated any other promo card information with Crown Zenith. Hopefully they fix that soon. But as for now, we're just gonna count these Vs as bulk Vs for a dollar. I might add a clip from eBay or something, but just a $1 bulk V card. I can't get over that hit that we just got. I wasn't gonna get those tens either. I literally was not gonna even grab those tens. It's a $50 card, just sitting in a great ball tin with a, with a discount sticker on it. Like who knows how long that tin has just been sitting there even. And of course, our Jumbo Reggie Lucky V card. Put that somewhere safe until it can get into our uh, Jumbo card binder. And of course, four packs of Crown Zenith. And while we're at it, let's just get this second box opened as well. We're gonna keep the packs separate though, so we know what came from where. Leave a comment down below if you guys think box number one or box number two will have the big hits. I don't know, last Crown Zenith packs that we opened were the Pikachu VMAX boxes, and we did insane on those. And the last box that we got, we literally got a Gold Arceus V-Star, we got a Radiant Charizard, and we got a uh, Pikachu Secret Rare all in the same one box, you know. So we got a Regilecki. I was actually trying to find those today when I got these. But with Crown Zenith, it's getting maybe a little better than it was because I did find them. So I think it is getting a little better, but it's definitely still, you're hunting for them. Like you're really hunting for them. We'll see March 17th, I think, is the next release when we get those Galarian Bird pins, which you already know we're gonna definitely crack at least one of each in a big video. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can do. Hopefully it's gonna start getting easier, but until now, we got eight packs today. Um, all right, pack number one. Code card is out. We are looking for Garatina. I'm just gonna say it. We've gotten two gold Arceus's. We've gotten two uh, Mewtwo V-Stars. Today, I would like to pull a gold Garatina. We got a Lunatone, Rescue Carrier, Slazzle, Shinx, Corefish, 
Honor, do we see silver already? Seal, rock rough, and a bow barrel. That's your fifth bow barrel. Into a hoopa hollow in the rear. So another bow barrel. I know a lot of people were, it depends on I guess what group you're in, but a decent number of people were excited for this bow barrel card. And we've just been pulling it nonstop. I think the last video that we did, we got two of them in one video. So we got a bow barrel from the Glaring Gallery, our first Glaring Gallery hit. The light never wants to cooperate with these glaring gallery cards. Just the way the hollow foil is, they are super reflective. And a hoopa, regular hollow in the rear. All right, pack number two, box number one. Do you guys think box number one or box number two is gonna win? We already got one hit, just one regular yellow border hit from the glaring gallery. And pack number one for box number one. Let's see what else we can get. I'm, I'm still expecting something big. We got Alexio, Friends in Hisui, Shaman, Scyther, Emogla, Young Goose, Shirubi, Execute, Double, and another Simiseer V Star. Yikes. Another Simiseer V Star. We need the Glaring Gallery version, not this one. This is not the Simiseer we are looking for. I think this is like our third Simiseer V-Star. But two for two, I, I thought I saw silver. I didn't want to say anything, but I thought I saw some silver. I was just hoping that it was Glaring Gallery silver. I mean, silver borders are always a good thing, but if we're gonna get a V-Star hit, we definitely want it to be out of that Glaring Gallery. Very seldom is the subset just, you know, hit after hit better than the main set. That's what it's all about though with this uh, series. The Galarian Gallery is where everything's at. Anything that you want is in that Galarian Gallery. We got a Lunatone, Bisharp, Galarian Mr. Mime, Shinx, Cricketot, Pawnard, Yanma, Baltoy, into a Bede, Bede signature, Hollow card. I think this is our first bid, eh? So we've been setting up a uh, page in the binder for all of the signature cards. We only have a couple so far. I think we just have like Hop, Leon, maybe Marnie or something like that, but bid, eh? So far we've had a hollow or better in all three of our packs with our best hit so far, unfortunately just being that Simis here. We definitely need something better than the Simisir V-Star. Like I said, I would love to get the regular Simis or the Glaring Gallery Simisir V-Star. That'd be awesome, but let's see. Last pack for box number one. So if you guys chose box number one, this is your last chance before we move on to the next one. We got a Soul Rock and a Lunatone. Way to get the duo. Croconog, Corefish, Pokeball, Whalmer, Pawnard, Larvesta, Hop, oh, uh, Reverse Hop. I didn't know you could get the signatures in reverse. And a double, our first miss. Oh no. So, box number one. We got four heads, so it's something still. Box number one, we got the Bede Hollow signature. We got the Simisir V-Star. We got the Hoopa Hollow for our hollow box and a barrel. All right, box number two. I imagine it's not gonna be difficult to be just a Simisir V-Star. I don't think we should have an issue with box number two coming out on top. Very excited though for those, uh, <clears throat> for those glaring bird tins to come out because I do think that Crown Zenith is better as a five pack product, five or more. I feel like you have just, I know it's only a difference between four and five, but I think that fifth pack really helps your odds for getting a good hit. So I'm very excited for those tins to come out. We have a Croconauk, Lunatone, Larvesta, Oddish, Seal, Potion, 
Aaron Graveler, and an Oranguru. Oh no. Oh no. I actually also, um, not that it really matters, but I also did actually get these two boxes at two different stores. So just in case that was something that you guys were wondering, I did not get these boxes at the same store next to each other. So they're likely from totally different areas of the print, water energy up front, energy search. So there's no like, there shouldn't really be any coordination with these, which can be a good thing and a bad thing because it means you can get back to back crazy hits, but it also means you can miss on everything, right? But I don't expect us to keep doing bad like this on Crown Zenith. Two mispacks in a row is somewhat of an oddity, that's for sure. <clears throat> no matter what though, we're up on this video because we did, don't forget, pull that amazing Arceus alt art. Hopefully our great ball is not gonna be the winner. The great ball was never even, you know, supposed to be an option for winning. So we need something, something not a V-Star marker, maybe a V-Star hit. Great ball. Soul Rock, great ball. Maybe this means it's our lucky pack. Great ball. Young Goose, Shirubi, Friends of Hisui, and a Greet It V. Come on. Just a Greet It V. That's a big boy. That is a big boy. That's a great it. Wow, only one B card. Only one B card. Hopefully that means we're about to have a certified banger. We need some last pack magic. We need it desperately. Otherwise, Crown Zenith, I don't want to ruin its reputation for you guys. Because it really is that good. It's just... Man, we got a bad box. Energy switch. I didn't think there'd be any issues in box number two winning. Glaring Mouth, Energy Retrieval, Shinx, Absol. That's not a. Re oh my god, that's a reverse? Absol into an Absol Hollow. Dude, I can't even. <clears throat> I can't even see that this is a reverse. Like. Do you guys see this? I mean, I can see it on camera a lot better than I can in person. Wow. Absol into an Absol. All we got out of this whole second box was just a hollow Absol and a green and B. Never saw that coming. Definitely did not see that coming. We only got one glaring gallery card too. That's kind of crazy. So in eight packs all together, and you know, granted, this is a bad box, but it's still <clears throat> miles better than most other auxiliary products are. So, you know, take what you will. Eight packs, besides our trainer, or not our trainer, besides our promo cards, we got a Bede, Absol, Hoopa, Greed MV, Bubba Arrow, Trainer Gallery, Simiseer, V-Star, and that is all. But don't forget, our warm-up pack gave us two amazing cards. We got both the Brilliant Stars, Zekrom Trainer Gallery card, and of course, finally, 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 we have pulled the RCS V Alt Art. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, we'll always be back tomorrow for another one, we make daily uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you like the online TCG and you want some code cards, then uh, leave a comment down below and I'll send some out to you. Oh, there's one for you guys now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and see you again tomorrow. Bye.